So this is 20 questions with Marion Technical College, and this is Danielle Lambright. And uh, tell us about. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. It's uh, <clears throat> Smith. We're here with Danielle Smith from Marion Technical College. Tell us the name of your business and where you're located. So we are Marion Technical College. More specifically, we're in the mobile lab at Marion Technical College, and we're located on the east side of Marion, um, across from Walmart. And what role do you play in manufacturing? So Marion Tech plays a pretty unique role in manufacturing um, with their various degrees, but also I work in Workforce Solutions, which also plays a unique role because we do custom training and testing for um, manufacturing. And what types of jobs are available at Marion Tech? There's lots of different jobs available at Marion Tech. You could be anything from a student worker while you're a student here, um, all the way up to the president of the college and anything in between. And what degree or training do you need for the various levels of jobs at Marion Tech? So, um, a student worker, you don't need a degree, you just need to be a student here. Um, and then we hire staff with associate's degrees, there's plenty of people with bachelors and masters and even doctorates. And what's the pay range at Marion Tech? The pay range starts um, at a student worker, which is minimum wage, and then goes anything in between um, up to the president of the college. So there's a large pay range there. What are three essential skills that are important in your job? Organization skills, um, time management, and being a people person. And what's the biggest reason that you might have to let an employee go? Um, the biggest reason we would probably let an employee go is probably for attendance. It's important to show up to work on time and um, when you're scheduled to work. Um, obviously we understand that things happen. Everybody has a life and goes through things, but that's what uh, like sick time and vacation time is for. Um, but any excessive absences would be um, unnecessary. And how many employees does Marion Tech have? Over a hundred employees. And what is the Marion made? What is the Main and Marion Expo to you? So the Main and Marion Expo is, I think, an important um, highlight in our community because you really get to learn what the local manufacturing businesses do and those who support manufacturing here in Marion. Um, it's important to realize that products that are made here in Marion go all over the world and we really have an impact on it, the whole world. Okay. So we're continuing our tour of the mobile lab and here we have instructor Jeremy Fryman and student and employee Brianna Knapper. And uh, tell us about yourselves. Where you go ahead. Oh. So my name is Brianna Knapper. Um, I'm a student ambassador on campus and I work in the admissions and financial aid department doing sensitive data processing. Um, I'm really grateful to be here. I have loved my time at Marion Tech and continuing my education for my career center. Um, I chose the RAM Tech program out at tri Rivers Career Center in Marion, Ohio, and I'm really grateful to be here. I really love all of the um, staff and meeting fellow students who are really passionate about STEM and especially meeting women in STEM. That's something that I really enjoy about Marion Technical College. Well, I'm Jeremy Fryman. I've been at Marion Technical College since 2008. Uh, I teach a variety of courses ranging from business to technology to engineering. Um, one of the things we'll be working on today is our Haas Mobile Lab Mini Mill. How and why did you end up in a STEM career? Well, how I got into STEM education, just to begin with, was um, I did the little VEX camps that they used to have when I was in middle school around 2012, 2013 time um, at Ramtech at the tri Rivers Career Center, and they were just really fun, a couple day camps, um, and you got to meet a whole bunch of people across Marion and then the surrounding counties, and we took a tour of Ramtech, and I was like, oh, this is it. Um, so then when I got into middle school, my eighth grade year, um, I had a couple friends who were on the VEX team, and VEX is an international competition competition um, that you can buy kids and you compete at local competitions statewide and if you're really good and you qualify you can even um, compete for the United States of America in the world's championship. Um, so I did that all throughout high school and I had a really fun time. I also did the National Robotics Challenge which is home in Marion, Ohio and it is now an international robotics challenge uh, with other countries coming here to the United States to compete. 
January in Ohio. Um, so I kind of got into that, and then I was like, I really want to go to Tri Rivers. I went to Tri Rivers um, for the Ram Tech Engineering Technologies program. I graduated in 2018 as valedictorian of my Tri Rivers Career Center full time class. Um, I'm very proud of that, and because of my ranking at my career center, I got a scholarship to attend Marion Technical College. I had absolutely no plans on going to college, and because of Tri Rivers is the sole reason why I went to school and got higher education. Um, and then why I chose engineering is it's just because it's something that I really enjoy. I love learning about it. I love helping my friends. I love impacting others around me. Um, it's something that just fascinates me and I never lose my drive for it. And studying it for the past about seven years, I think I've pretty much found my niche. How was the mobile lab schedule? Um, the mobile lab schedule is pretty flexible. Um, I have done about two or three trainings out here last um, winter time um, with the CNC, and we kind of just chose Fridays or Saturdays, what worked for us. Um, because we're not industry and we're students, we kind of focused on the weekends, um, but industry can just choose whatever days work for them because obviously they're paying money, so they have um, a very flexible time range that we can offer here at Mary Tech. Is the mobile lab limited to engineering and manufacturing training? It is not. Um, you can do um, just about any kind of training. So this is a flexible lab. So we have projector systems, sound systems, and then one of the walls in here is an entire whiteboard. But um, this lab does get mostly used for engineering and technical training, but it does have potential for higher use. What is a CNC? So a CNC basically stands for a computer numerical control. That is why it's called a CNC, but CNC is a little bit easier to just say. Um, so what it does, everybody knows what a 3D printer is. So you're using material and you're building an item. So a CNC kind of does the exact opposite. You have a big chunk of material and then you're taking away little bits and pieces to make a product. So it's kind of the exact opposite is the best way I can describe it. Um, the CNC that we have here uses a PLC, which is a programmable logic controller. Um, and that is just a fancy word for a programming interface. Um, the one that we have here kind of looks like a giant iPad with like a keyboard underneath it. Um, so the user interface is a little bit easier to use, especially for training purposes. Um, you have the actual cutting part um, that's within its own work cell with a lot of safety features on it. So that way the user and anyone around you is super safe. And then you have the PLC user interface outside of the work cell. So that way you can go about programming um, any sort of errors and anything like that. Hey Jeremy, how long can this vehicle stay? The vehicle can stay as long as it is scheduled. Uh, scheduling can be done through Mike Augenstein and Daniel Smith uh, through Marion Technical College. Does this need to come back to the college every single night? It does not. It can stay as long as it is scheduled. What is the power source and does it need to be parked close to the building for power? The power source, uh, we can connect it to a building through um, a long extension cord or there is an onboard uh, diesel generator that can power the whole facility. So because of the generator, it does not necessarily need to be parked close to the building. What's your favorite part about the mobile lab? I really enjoy kind of working on the mill and showing students how to uh, use the uh, PLC as well as actually creating uh, inside of the device. Can anyone learn the programming code for this machine? Uh, the programming code can be learned by, uh, I know as young as 7th, 8th grade, um, but the code isn't always necessarily needed. Uh, you can actually create CAD drawings that uh, programs can convert into the codes. Do you have to be an engineer to do this career? You do not. Um, engineering um, design knowledge is helpful. Uh, but not necessarily needed. Uh, machine operators, uh, operators of lathes, um, and various machining tools can learn to operate one of these mills. Can this vehicle be rented out? Well, it's not so much renting. Um, this vehicle is designed more for training. It is not meant to go actually out uh, for manufacturing purposes. 
What type of materials can be machined? There's a wide variety of materials that can be machined, everything from as soft to plastics, uh, up through something as hard as titanium. It all depends on the tools and whether or not uh, we are operating with uh, our coolants. Uh, various materials create different amounts of heat. Um, so it all depends on uh, your conditions and your needs. How many people can train at once? Uh, it was designed for eight to 10. Uh, at any given time, it is handicap accessible, um, so there is a wheelchair lift. What kinds of tools does this machine use? Uh, it can use any number of rotary tools, uh, from drill bits, reamers, taps, dies, for instance. Um, but it is uh, a three-axis lab that uses rotary tools. Does each tool need to be changed out after a task is done? It does not. There is a carousel that uh, allows us to rotate the tools um, per the design and program that has been entered, is enter, entered into the PLC. Uh, it will select the appropriate tool to do the cutting job at hand. How do you get the machine to run a cut procedure? The cut procedures are operated through programs that are loaded into the PLC. Um, it can be controlled manually or by running a uh, procedural program. What are M and G codes? M and G codes are the routines that the PLC operates to move the cutting head and table um, and adjust to do the cutting paths that the CNC requires. If you have any needs whatsoever for training, give us a call at Workforce Solutions at Marion Technical College. The mobile lab can be used for any kind of class that you would like to have. We've taught math classes, we've taught IT classes, we have laptops that we can put in it. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to just be an engineering class or dealing with PLCs or with the CNC machine. We can teach a host of classes in the mobile lab and we'd love to see you uh, utilizing this tool. Thanks for touring the mobile lab. We hope you have a great rest of the year. Stay safe and come see us at Marion Technical College sometime.